What's going on everybody, Ari here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how to increase the conversion rate of your store. Now if you're a dropshipper or you're in e-commerce in general and you've been driving traffic to your store but you haven't been getting that many conversions then this is gonna be the perfect video for you and I can almost guarantee you that after watching this entire video and applying the tips that I give you, you will see a higher conversion rate. So the ROI on watching this video could be huge so make sure that you pay attention because some of these tips I really haven't heard anybody else talk about so I'm really excited to share them with you now if you do get value out of this video make sure that you subscribe to the channel and drop a thumbs up on it I would greatly appreciate that and it would help out my YouTube channel which is always a good thing but anyways let's get right into the video all right guys welcome to my computer now as you can see we're gonna be talking about how to get a higher conversion rate on your store so the first tip is actually to brand your product name so whether or not you're currently running a one product store a general store or a niche store it doesn't matter this is applicable to every single store there is because this is on a product per product basis so when I say brand your product name I mean make it fun make it appealing for the consumer instead of having portable USB blender on your product title make it blend jet for example has the blend jet one the quick blend you know something something more fun something appealing that has to do with the product and ideally if you are running a one product store you can make this your brand name as well so of course blend jet uh, blend jet is actually a is actually a one product brand where they only really sell this portable blender you've seen this product everywhere by now of course it's one of the hottest products of 2018 and now even going into 2019 it's still one of the hottest products but as you can see they named it blend jet one so this is their first model or whatever but this right here that alone probably makes the, their product page convert a little bit better because of course not only is it branded with their with their store name but it's just branded overall so if you apply this to any of your products it will look more appealing and therefore it will make your page visitors want to buy it more now the second tip that I want to give you here is to not go overboard with apps uh, and this also goes for products don't go overboard with products I always advise you guys to create niche stores that's basically what I like to do but I always start with only one to five products that's basically my sweet spot the more products that you add the more work you're gonna have to put in right away to make all those products look really nice and also the slower your site is gonna be and of course when it comes to apps as well another reason besides just how slow your page can get from using so many apps is that it actually looks really spammy humans are really good at pattern recognition and a lot of customers are actually kind of aware of some of these tactics that a lot of dropshippers have used in the past such as countdown timers and just other scarcity tactics that are just corny and don't really work anymore. So I strongly suggest that you go for a more simple approach. As you can see, BlendJet keeps it very simple. Hard, there's literally no scarcity. They just basically have a 30 day money back guarantee and their delivery times at the very top. Now the way that you're gonna be able to check your site speed is using a site called GT Metrics. Now as you can see, this is actually my site now this is a more branded store of course um, this is kind of this is one of the brands that we're building right now and as you can see we have a 2.9 second load time we have about eight products in the store and as you can see we're doing a pretty good job at keeping the apps at a minimum making the site look really clean and of course making it really fast 2.9 is not the best uh, but it's actually really really good compared to a lot of other stores now if you are going to use GT metrics to judge your site speed I would advise you to test it out multiple times because sometimes for some reason depending on your browser speed it can give you like a much like slower time when in reality your site is actually pretty quick uh, and you of course want it to be accurate because because one of the ways to actually solve site speed besides deleting apps and of course deleting products is by hiring a developer on Fiverr or Upwork somebody that's gonna optimize your website to be faster I've done it multiple times in the past um, I've had really good experiences with Fiverr developers in that aspect um, but of course it does cost money and if you can save money then why not and so like I said in order to solve this you're either gonna hire somebody or just delete a bunch of your apps that you don't use remove unneeded products that are just wasting space and images and honestly if you have been using a theme that hasn't been converting and you bought this theme and it looks very spammy I honestly urge you to just use one of the free themes that Shopify recommends like the Brooklyn theme or the debut theme both of those themes are extremely quick they're very well developed and they're actually gonna probably give you more conversions just because of the quickness of them uh, 
especially if you've removed unneeded products and all that stuff. Now tip number three is actually gonna be to order your product and create product demos with your product, right? And you can add these videos, these product demo videos either on your product pages or, your, or make ads with them or on your social media pages, whatever it is. But I guarantee you that you'll be able to find your product either on Amazon or just on AliExpress. Though I will say that if you find it on Amazon, that's a lot better because you can get it shipped to you a lot quicker than if you wait for AliExpress, right? But, but like I said, once you have this product on you, you can either make the video by yourself or you could simply hire somebody on Fiverr. As you can see, there's a lot of people that do product demonstration videos. All you have to do is send them the product and they'll create a bit demonstration video for you. Now, of course, I'd advise you to do a lot more research than just this to find the perfect person. Uh, otherwise, you could also go on Instagram and find influencers to create a video for you. A lot of them are willing to do that. Or you could create a GIF with your video. Actually, Blendjet is a good example of this. They have a GIF right here that's just constantly running of the Blendjet in action, just kind of as proof that the product works really well. This is actually genius, and even something so simple as this could increase your conversion rate significantly. So I strongly suggest that you consider this option. Now the next tip that I wanna give you is to answer specific questions on your product descriptions. So a good way to know what a good question that a potential customer might ask would be uh, is to actually go on Amazon and find your product. So if we look at so if we look at some portable blenders here and we actually look at their you scroll down, you can actually look at some of the frequently asked questions right here. Um, and from those, you can actually kind of add something similar into your site, uh, into your product pages even. Now, if you do have the money to get a developer to create like a little tab, an FAQ tab for your description, that could actually work really, really well. But if you don't have the money to do that or the skills to do that, then just literally write a question, like make a little FAQ section in your product description. That can actually work really well. And even though Blendjet doesn't do that specifically, they do have like a lot of actual technical specifications at the bottom. And that's another tip. I didn't mention this because that's kind of a generic tip. But for those of you that don't know, make sure that you don't mention any like technical specifics um, or any sort of you know features before you explain the benefits as you can see Blendjet doesn't even talk about specifics in like the whole first half of their product description they only talk about like the experience of being able to you know blend stuff anywhere and at any time and that's really smart you should be wanting to present the benefits of your product and how it solves an issue or if it doesn't solve an issue just you know try to really hone in on the experience that this product is gonna give them instead of the specifics you know like if you're talking about how much how much battery life it has or or you know the cool design like that doesn't really sell that's not why somebody's gonna buy this they're gonna buy this because of the convenience so make sure that you state that right away now moving on to tip number five this one's gonna be have reviews but not any reviews have good reviews this is actually gonna make a huge difference in your product pages and I can't tell you enough how many times I go on like you know on, on some drop shipping stores that I see out there and they have reviews with like really broken English that just basically scream like hey don't buy from me like this is a fake review make sure that the reviews are actually good let me give you an example this product I used this product on a, on a different video this is actually a pretty solid one as you can see it has a ton of orders a ton of really really solid reviews and if you go to the feedback we can actually pick and choose some really good reviews uh, as you can see this one runs really great quality uh, you know very cool fast shipping quality at altitude on its parameters I mean that one's kind of weird <laughs> um, but you know just find ones that don't have broken English that actually specify the product really well and that are actually gonna make people want to buy something now the way that you're gonna import these reviews into your product page is by using an app called looks reviews this is by far my favorite review app I've been using this app for a very very long time and because of that the looks team actually hooked me up with an extended 30-day free trial for the app usually it's only 14 days but if you use the link in my description you can actually get 30 days for free um, now it's not gonna say that you get 30 days for free but trust me if you use that link you will get 30 days for free so make sure that you use that that's literally the only way to get the extended trial so I highly suggest that you do that but you get the point get good reviews don't just get any sort of lame reviews just because of it make sure that you actually have some high quality reviews worst case scenario like just take some of these images and reword them uh, make your own review based on this but reword it so that it actually makes sense all right guys so that was pretty much all I had I wanted to give you five tips but actually I got some 
bonus tips here for you because you guys already know I'm trying to give you as much value as possible so that you can actually go out there and increase the conversion rate of your store. So another bonus tip of course is just to private label your product. Uh, I've been doing this with all of my products and honestly you'd be surprised but the, but the manufacturers of your product that are actually going to private label it for you, oftentimes they're very willing to actually provide you with new images with your new logo on it which is going to save you not only a ton of money on, photog on product photography but also time because you don't have to go out there and search for a photographer. You can actually just get your manufacturers to do it. Trust me, this has worked really well for me, especially for my current brand, and I'm gonna continue to do this for as long as possible because I don't need a photographer anymore for that. <laughs> so that's also great. Now another bonus tip, guys, that I wanna give you is to make your site easy to navigate. I can't tell you also enough how many times I go on stores and I just can't even get around it. Like I can't go look at other products. I don't know where their shipping stuff is or where they're shipping from. Like everything is just really confusing. Make it simple and easy to navigate. As you can see, Blendjet makes it extremely extremely easy, um, you know, home, Blendjet One, FAQs, tips, recipes, team, like this is really, and if you go on their footer, it's even easier. They have everything that you need right here. Uh, support, our guarantee, tips, it's amazing. And this is exactly how you should be setting up your page. And then of course, the last tip is to have shipping info, return policy, FAQs, and contact us page easily displayed on your store. I know that you may not think this has a big effect on your on your conversion rate, but it actually does. Like I would say, even if 10% of your customers uh, you know, want to look at some of this stuff and can't find it, that's 10% of people that are, that are just definitely not going to convert because you didn't provide them with an easy enough site to navigate and all the information that they needed to get before buying your product. So it makes sense to have all of these things really uh, easily displayed on your store so that your customers can find them. So make sure that you keep that in mind and actually do this because this is a big conversion killer for a lot of stores. Now guys, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and got some tips that are going to help you out with your conversion rate. And of course, if you did get some value out of this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more and leave me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Now I want to give some of you guys that came, that got all the way until the end a little bit of a gift. If you guys are not aware of the Ecom Inner Circle, it's my paid program slash mentorship. I do a lot of stuff for that group. My biggest focus when it comes to that is student satisfaction. And this is why we've gotten a tremendous amount of results. But what I want to do is what give you an extra $50 off the current discounted price. All you have to do is enter the code YouTube 50 into the coupon code bar and you'll be able to get an extra $50 off. If you're interested, you don't have to do that, but, but I will only make that available for five people. I don't want to make it unfair for everyone else that wants to sign up but can't get the discount code. So only the next five people. So make sure that you use that if you're interested in the course. Otherwise, like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and I'll be coming at you with another value packed video very soon. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.